The discoveries in Paul Chu and his colleagues' lab in 1987 provoked widespread scientific excitement. I myself, together with colleagues, discovered the first liquid nitrogen high temperature superconductor. It was an enormously exciting period in the scientific community, particularly in the physics and material science communities. And because of that, the state of Texas decided to establish the Center for Superconductivity at the University of Houston to further the research, both in fundamental and basic, and for to educate future generations of scientists and engineers. We're still working on high temperature superconductivity. At the same time as the field has developed, we have uh, more of an emphasis than there was at the beginning on actual applications of these uh, materials, for example, in energy and also in medicine. I work at the biomedical division, and our main goal is to make a scientific and, and engineering contributions over utilization of high temperature superconducting films in biomedicine. Texas Center for Superconductivity focuses in uh, bringing together academic, clinical, and entrepreneurial elements to enhance and initiate new international and business collaborations and to transfer the knowledge to utilize our research. One such example is our spin-off company Endomagnetics. Endomagnetics is a, a research partnership between the University of College London and Texas Center for Superconductivity. The collaborative effort has resulted in developing a handheld probe that can be used in conjunction with magnetic tracer to localize easily and quickly sentinel lymph nodes in uh, breast cancer patients. The Texas Center for Superconductivity Applied Research Hub was formed over four years ago with funding from the state of Texas. A hallmark of the Applied Research Hub is to work on translational research where the research we do on campus can be quickly transferred to industry, especially for manufacturing and for commercialization. One success story has been our partnership with the thin film superconductor wire manufacturer. We have had a four times improvement in the performance of the wire and we were able to successfully transfer that know-how to industry and this wire is now being used for generators, motors, cables and so on. I think the center can proudly say that uh, we have lived up to the mandate of the state in creating new science and in, uh, technology and also in educating students and scholars. In addition to the 25 faculty members who are affiliated with the center, we have uh, senior researchers, we have postdoctoral fellows, and we also have a large number of graduate students who work with the faculty members. Every student in my and other laboratories work on a variety of uh, engineering and, and science related projects, but also is, is exposed to uh, clinical problems that we try to solve in the laboratory. And very often to address those problems it requires to have uh, interdisciplinary knowledge from uh, computer science to physics to engineering and sometimes in, in nanotechnology to solve specific problems related to healthcare. Students gain not only the experimental um, knowledge but they interact actively with graduate students from other departments. It's cross-departmental and this makes a huge impact on learning other scientific languages. It's really great to work with people who have different backgrounds. It gives you a more broad sense of the field and it gives you a different way to maybe look at things working with different people. It's qualifying them for their next generation um, step into industry where they need to talk to people from outside their field. And this piece of educational contribution is what TAXA is really known for. In some cases, the industry scientists and engineers work on site at the university at the Applied Research Hub. And therefore, the students have direct interaction with the company scientists and engineers. And they are being mentored by the scientists and engineers. So they get to learn a lot of the industrial best practices Students leaving our program here are qualified in three ways. First of all is their general knowledge about the field, about their research, the deeper understanding of techniques, and on top of it, presentation skills, as well as educational outreach. 
Tuxa is very fortunate to be part of a, a very vibrant, growing university, which is located here in Houston, home to the Texas Medical Center. And it's also generally recognized as the energy capital of the world. And so because of the nature of our programs, we have lots of opportunities. If you have a dream, try to bring the dream to the Texas Center for Superconductivity to make it real.